Salut, ça va bien? Uh, this is the audio file for week 7, leçon numéro 1. Semaine 7, leçon numéro 1. Uh, we are still covering the chapter on the interrogative form in French. And today, uh, this video is about the interrogative word who. Uh, qui in French, as in qui es-tu, who are you. But we will also uh, talk about other variants of qui, mainly qui est-ce qui and qui est-ce que and we'll learn in what situations uh, they should be used. But before I begin, uh, I would like to quickly say that because of the complexity of some of the lessons I cover in my virtual class, uh, I find it more and more difficult to provide enough details here on YouTube. Uh, you might not be aware of it, but I'm only allowed to post videos of no more than 10 minutes. Uh, so forgive me if I sometimes get frustrated towards the end of my lessons or if I rush towards the end of my lessons. It's just that I feel like you guys should deserve more, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, 10 minutes is not enough time for me to explain uh, some, uh, some, some uh, uh, French grammar. So um, uh, that's actually why I decided to create my virtual uh, French class. So if you feel the need to learn more about uh, the French language, well, feel free to join uh, my, my, uh, my class and you will... Uh, be able to download as many lessons as you want and without paying anything, right? It's free. It's just free. Okay, now uh, let's begin the lesson. Uh, key means who, and you use key in order to inquire about someone's identity in French. Qui est? Who is it? Qui vient? Who's coming? Qui a mangé mon gâteau? Who ate my cake? As you can see, all these questions ask about a person's identity, uh, but depending on the sentence, key can be the subject of the verb or it can also be the object and this is the perfect time I think to introduce you qui est qui and qui est que okay use qui est qui when qui is the subject of the verb okay and uh, I give you an example here uh, let's take this sentence in English uh, who speaks French who speaks French here the subject of the verb speaks is who okay we trying to know the subject who that speaks French okay so who speaks French in French will be qui parle français qui parle français and qui is the subject of the verb speaks oh sorry of the verb parle okay qui parle français uh, okay in this case since qui is the subject of the verb we can replace qui by qui est qui okay so use qui est qui uh, each time qui is the subject of the verb all right now when do we use qui est que we use qui est que when qui is the object the recipient of the verb okay i give you an example in english who do you like who do you like uh, here in who do you like you is the subject of like not who you like who Okay, so who becomes the object here? In French, it will be qui aimes tu Qui aimes tu Okay, uh, qui in this case can be replaced by qui est-ce que Qui est-ce que So, qui est-ce que tu aimes Qui est-ce que tu aimes That will be the question if you replace qui by qui est-ce que So, um, uh, to conclude, uh, just use uh, qui est-ce qui when qui is the subject and use qui est que when qui is the object and I give you those two sentences in English who speaks French where who was the subject qui parle français and who do you like where you was the subject and who was actually the object in the sentence and you use uh, qui est que alright so um, I guess that's it. Oh, actually, uh, let me give you this formula then. Okay, uh, when using in key M2, key M2, we have key plus the verb plus the subject. Key plus the verb M plus the subject to. Okay, you should invert the order subject verb. So you place the verb first and then the subject. Qui aime tu? But when you use qui est-ce que in, as in qui est-ce que tu aimes, qui est-ce que tu aimes, you can see that tu aimes 
uh, in QM there is no inversion inversion so we do not invert to M when we use key s -Q. so key s -Q to M but you should say key M2 so you invert when you use key but when using key s -Q, you should leave it as it is you should say key s -Q to M who do you like alright so well that's about it and if you need to know more about uh, key and the interrogative uh, pronouns in French well you can still join my class and uh, I hope you have fun uh, learning it okay guys I see you in about four days and uh, the next exam will be posted online um, I think on Sunday the 7th yep Sunday the 7th the next exam it will be uh, about well the current uh, chapter about the interrogative words uh, key or que or s que and also previous elements from previous the previous uh, lessons okay so i hope you had fun and i see you another time bye